deleting everything except for one mountaineer is standard multiplayer practice. Yeah, and I hate it. <laughs> Anything like that just smacks of exploitation to me. The only reason I'm doing this is so that I can rename all my divisions after <laughs> subscribers. It just saves me typing them all out. It doesn't really lose us much doing that. Going to start a new campaign soon. Want to experience naval combat without being overwhelmed. Can I recommend a nation that needs a navy but isn't divined by it, but like the UK and Japan? Absolutely I can, Vox. It's a little orange nation, which can probably be better defined as a navy with a state. You may know it better as the Netherlands. Because one of the cool things, like if you have man the guns, if you have man the guns then the Dutch have a focus tree which allows you to withdraw to Indonesia and then you basically don't need to worry about Germany taking over the whole country. I mean if you want to try and hold then that's a interesting challenge, but if you really want to focus on the Netherlands then Indonesia, build a navy, and then you're basically fighting the Japanese in Indonesia and trying to stop them from landing. Like the, uh, the Dutch game with the navy is, is it's a lot of fun. And you also have the best Bonon submarine commanders in the game. Donut is an amateur in comparison. Alright, is that all the navies? No. Oh, you know the other thing I forgot to do before we go too far is deleting half of these. I'm actually going to delete these guys because I don't think they're ever going to get finished, at least not in my lifetime. And I'm also going to delete the light cruisers because I don't need them. I'll keep the subs, because submarines are useful throughout. But the real thing that we need are destroyers. Lots and lots and lots of destroyers. Let's make you a 100, make you a 100. What are you? Tactical bomber. 100! These guys are fighters, make you 100 as well. 100 seems to be a pretty good number for the air wings. And then 50 for the naval bombers. Then I think I'm going to go and destroy one of the tactical bombers. Just so that we have planes that can filter into the other guys. Then you and you can start drilling. immediately makes some of my fuel just disappear. Okay, then we're going to go down to the bottom, separate out all of the submarines. Oops, there is still a submarine left in here apparently. There you are. And you are going to go into the reserves. And we are going to go task force composition. We're going to go subs. I'm going to say that this needs to be 10 submarines. Save that. Okay. And then we'll drop you in here. We'll get you. New fleet. And we're basically going to apply that template to these submarines. Because having submarines in sets of 10 seems to work quite well, and for every separate task force you can have, you can uh, be active in one sea zone. So if we have five task forces, you can be active with submarines in five sea zones. And 10 seems to give you pretty good coverage of those sea zones, so you're constantly sinking stuff. And there we are. So we'll start new training, new training, new training. And a lot of the oil disappears. See you, Requin. And then we also have this guy. And we'll need to think a bit more about the Navy comp uh, composition, because if we're going to be active just in the Mediterranean, then I think I might have one large fleet instead of the two smaller ones, which I did previously. Or maybe I'll leave a faster moving fleet for the English Channel, just so they're harder for bombers to find.
And then also building stuff. I'm going to stay with the light tanks. And get rid of the motorized. Get rid of the artillery. Going to get rid of the support equipment and put everything into guns. Guns, 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 and more guns. Jaffy and friends, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And Noctez Katlipoka, thank you very much for the follow. I missed that one earlier, sorry. What's the strategy this time around? Anti tank. Probably with a couple of tank hunters, which are going to be. Uh, tank destroyers, and I think I can even upgrade the light tanks into tank destroyers once I have the tack. So we'll need to start doing that early. Diplomatic objection. Industrial expansion. We need a stronger industrial presence at home. We have plenty of labor ready, but we need more factory lines. Attention. That is for the... yeah, civilian. Good. Naval France might be interesting. There's an achievement for the torpedo tech. True, but I don't think that Africa has as much naval production uh, potential as Indonesia does. Trying desperately to avoid buying oil from the US. <laughs> Plenty of labor at home when they aren't on strike. That's true. All right, new technology. We want mechanized computing. Attention. No, you're done. Cool. Out of interest, how many light tanks are required for a single battalion? 60. I still want to try this infantry fighting tanks and just do it with the light tanks instead of the heavies. Nah, that's really expensive compared to having dedicated AT. Really expensive. Not doing it. Silly. Silly Mordred. Um, let's go to another one in Rhone. And then... Gorgon, French Comte, Central. Central's fairly small. So it will do it anyway. And Loire. Second London Naval Conference coming up. That's cool. Election. Communists in government. This time I can actually choose, so it's reform rather than revolution, which I think is what the AI chose for me automatically last time. Or I can say a broad coalition. No, I did choose the broad coalition. Does party popularity matter? Yeah, it does. Basic machine tools done. So we can now start working on concentrated industry, which I think is a good idea. In fact, we've already got the infrastructure one, don't we? Champagne, Provence, and Alps. Pretty sure that those are different provinces than last time, getting the bonus. So Rhone is definitely going to be my main industrial hub. So is Provence. Languedoc. And then the Pyrenees. This is going to be where my industry is. Uh, 
And let's go ahead and deploy these guys and start them training. And I should be able to get a bunch more. Whoops, not colonial, regular. Except we don't have anywhere near the equipment for it. <laughs> See you, Vox. Industrial expansion is done. As much as I would like to upgrade Algeria, I think we really need to go for the government reform so we can start the defensive stratagems going as soon as possible. Or rather, so we can start the strengthening government going as soon as possible to get the defensive stratagems. The world has grown dangerous. We can no longer be tied down by our own petty squabbles. It's time to empower the politicians and move forwards for the sake of France. Then I think once we've finished with Construction 1, we can start researching AT and actually start producing some. Spanish Civil War. See if the uh, Republicans can win for a change. Speaking of which, you guys probably are drilled. You are. Stop drilling. And you two can start. And then the navies. Oh. This whole fleet needs to separate. Following the sacking of two workers at a large factory, struggles between workers and factory owners have erupted across the country. Workers backed by the Parti Communiste Francais have organised and are demanding better conditions such as higher wages and shorter work weeks. This will greatly reduce the output of our factories and is viewed as a victory for the Parti Communiste Francais. We are invited to Matignon for negotiations. Do we give in to their demands or stand firm and risk a countrywide strike? I have a feeling that the countrywide strike is what caused us so many problems last time. So I'm going to try and negotiate a deal. These subs can also go and join that. I see that we won so hard that we've gone back into time. That's the kind of positive thinking I like to encourage. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna start on AT now. I need to get those out as soon as possible. Except away, what will be the infantry template? Um, probably support AT. I might put regular artillery in. So we'll go with a similar to a superior firepower template. Because clearly we need to do more damage. We don't have enough damage potential. But it's hard to say because we're going to have very little army experience, at least early on. Stuck in a Groundhog Day scenario. I'm sorry, I just get really stubborn about trying again. When something feels like I can complete it and I'm just like, I know I can do this, but I need to make changes. Then I'm like, I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to try for a 14-4-7-2-7-2. Government of reform, because I want to keep rotating units in and out. Support the status quo. 
France is the cradle and protector of liberty and should remain so. And we can modify our government. That's not worth it. And this time we don't need to get the tank designer. So instead, I think what we should do is get the captain of industry. Increases infrastructure and civilian factory construction speed. Industry, industry, industry. Attention. These guys will be done very soon. The games of the 11th Olympiad, the Olympic Games, have recently been held in Berlin, Germany, attended by athletes from 49 different nations across the world. The 1936 Summer Olympics are the first in history to have enjoyed limited live te television coverage. We just don't have any infantry equipment. We're a little bit short right now. That, that's definitely uh, a, a thing that's true. Cancel these for now. At least until I can see where we stand in terms of upgrading and building other things. Our problem is definitely going to be war support. It's actually a difference of 20%. Maybe I should have. just feels like a real waste of political power, especially at the moment. Aye. Revisit Matignon agreements. With the recently signed Matignon agreement, our industry have no way of competing with the Germans. We are falling behind in production capacity with each passing day. Some factory owners already started to negotiate some of the rights that were granted the Matignon Agreement with little to no resistance from the workers. We have an opportunity to officially revoke the newly gained workers' rights countrywide, but risk them rallying behind the Parti Communiste Francais once again in hopes that they will back another strike. Letting the workers keep their rights and focusing on optimising the current workflow may help reunite the French people and let us grow together. What does that do? Oh, I see. You're saying that I can get rid of this now instead of wait for 37. No. With time, we'll be as efficient as before. Because part of the problem we were having was stability, and I have a feeling because our stability was so low is why we kept on getting all the negative events. So if I can fix the stability, then A, we have better output, and B, no negative events. I'm guessing. I don't know if that's true. If you want a solid defense, try a 14 4 with infantry, artillery, recon, and support. I would love to, Vince, but that is a super expensive template. Because remember, we are somewhat limited in time. Germany is coming for us. Go with Britain. Ah, we finished all the uh, shipyard buildings. Magnificent. I think I am going to assign all of you to repair if necessary, and then we are just going to build a bunch of these. Okay, 36, October 36. Uh, we do need to start working on air doctrine. We also need to start working on better planes. Possibly upgraded artillery. Get radio. Then we can start thinking about radar so we have that air cover again. Presume you're building military factories as fast as possible. I find it's better to do infrastructure first because every level of infrastructure gives you a bonus to construction speed. I think it's like 10%. It's pretty high. 
And then after that, normally I would do civilian factories, but I think this time we will do military. But part of the thing is, infrastructure there is no build cost penalty right now, while factories are 30% slower. Which is why in these games I tend to do infrastructure first while infrastructure is not penalised. Then as soon as my economy switches to a more wartime one, then I switch to factory production and just build them really, really rapidly. But it's also a question of timing, like when do you make that switch? Oh, we need to get the upgraded light tanks as well. That's another thing we do need to research. Uh, in fact, that is probably more important than radio currently. Because I would very much like to have tank destroyers. You're going to take so long to build. Joseph Fizzlesticks, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. How's the training coming? You, you, and you are all done. You guys get to train, and then navies, done, almost done, done, almost done. Actually gaining oil. Yay! Aussie, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And there's the light tank destroyer. So, if I am correct, I should be able to build light tank destroyers and click that button, which will mean that I start converting the light tanks that we have into tank destroyers. And it should be a pretty quick process, because converting something you already have is actually really fast. And now we can start working on... what was it? Radio. Yes. Can anyone lend lease guns right now? No, because we're not at war. All right, Aquitaine is done. Do I want to start doing military factories now or do I want to continue doing the infrastructure to support the factories later and just build a bunch of them at that point? I think I'm going to continue with the infrastructure. It's a gamble, though. I grant you it's a gamble. Because I think we want to start working on defenses in 38. So we spend the whole year of 38 building defences, so the whole of 37 should really be factories. Well, in that case, I have an idea. What we can do is start building factories like one... Do it like that. France and Britain announce alliance. Calling upon the bonds forged during the Great War, France has requested a formal alliance with Great Britain. History has shown... How much can be accomplished when our great nation stands side by side? In the spirit of the Entente Cordiale, we are proud to welcome you not only as friends, but as allies. Let's strengthen this government. We have made planes, planes. We have made plans for the following year that will meet the wishes of the people in all of the parts of France. Show them that we are capable of action and worthy of rule of France. So we can once again stand united.
Going to saturate AA this time. Going to saturate anti-tank this time, because it was the tanks that was causing me the problems. Because we were actually holding the air at bay as long as we maintained our control over this area, because I'd built AA. I might build a little bit more this time, but uh, the ground-based AA actually seemed to be doing a fairly decent job. Plus, it gives you a resistance to enemy ground support, so it's, it's actually, like, doubly useful. Oh, resistance to enemy air support. Gives your ground units resistance to enemy air support. Do that, and that, and that. Boom. And then you guys are basically the reserve for all of them. In fact, we're going to have another unit, aren't we? Well, no, I'm going to keep the reserves. It's, it's nice to have a reserve. Especially for submarines, because it means that we can keep the subs going to the really in important places. Aren't we building an outdated version of the light tank destroyer? No? Yes, yes we are. I'm trying to do things too quickly to catch up. Um, right, radio. Good catch. That would have been very irritating. Plus, it's January 37. I want you to finish, at the very least. Thankfully, it's a quick tech. What kind of tanks are these, though? FCM 36s, H 35s, and FT 17s. FT 17s are the old ones. 35s and the FCM 36. The FCM 36 are the new ones. I don't know how many of those we have. Although, I think you can upgrade. An old model of tank into a new model of variant. I think that's how it works. Strengthen the government. Excellent. So we can't do defensive stratagems for a year. So 24th of February. Which I think is exactly the same time as we did it last time. Well, let's do Algerian France and get the colonial industry. And then we'll get both of the military industries. Extra research. Although I would also very much like to get rid of... Victors of the Great War, so I can start working on doctrines. But we can definitely get this, because that's a huge bonus. Zaratuk, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. I did say Aussie already. I think I said Aussie. If I didn't say it, welcome Aussie as well. Okay, 37. I want construction. Now we can do production, tanks, tank destroyer 2s, convert. 